Hey everyone and welcome back. First of all, let me just shamelessly shill for a second. People have always told me that they want Undoom t-shirts, and seeing as how flaky YouTube has been lately, I thought I'd give it a go. So I've created some awesome t-shirt designs for you, so you should head on over there and check them out right now. They're available for a limited time only. The link will be in the description box. And to celebrate this fact, because I'm sure as hell looking forward to getting my Undoom t-shirt, I thought I'd do this entire video with only fan art instead of my avatar. Now, with that out of the way, let's get on to the real meat of the video. And yes, pun intended. Today we have a special snowflake who believes that feminism and veganism is the same thing and that meat is a form of patriarchy. Enjoy! Hey everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to attempt to answer the question, is veganism a feminist issue? I'm gonna read your thoughts. Let me guess. You're gonna say it is. To start, I'll give my answer right off the bat. Yes, veganism is a feminist issue. Great, so can we go now? Feminists are concerned with dismantling patriarchy, which is the systematic organization of male supremacy. Jesus fucking Christ, do you even know what the word systematic means? Why don't you give me an example of a system or an institution dedicated to male supremacy? In this hierarchy, the white man is seen to be on top and all other humans and other animals are seen to be inferior or inherently less than. Only by flaming racists and sexists such as yourself, or in other words, feminists. Seriously, no one thinks that. As Lisa Kimmerer says in Sister Species, both women and animals have historically been considered to be less intelligent, less rational. Less rational? Is that a Freudian slip? Either way, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're less intelligent and less rational than I am. But that's got nothing to do with the fact that you're a woman. That's got something to do with the fact that you've signed up for not one, but two. Two crazy religions. When I say that veganism is a feminist issue, it isn't because I see them as exactly the same struggle, but rather that non-veganism is reproducing the same oppressive ideology that feminism seeks to disrupt. Non-veganism? What do you mean, like normal people? And please note that I include vegetarians as normal people. If you don't like meat, why should I give a shit? But veganism has got nothing to do with that because it's a religion and an ideology. And it is thereby only seeking to improve women's place in the system. Well, you already have more legal rights than men, so you really won't quit until you're declared sacred or something, will you? We cannot ignore the way that patriarchy shapes the systematic oppression of non-human animals. Well, there you go, men. We're not only responsible for when something goes wrong for a woman somewhere, we're now also responsible for when something goes wrong for a pig. My penis is so confused. Animals are sexed, and their sex determines the specific exploitation that is performed on that animal. For female animals, their reproductive organs, including their ability to breed, lactate, and menstruate, dictate how they will be enslaved in the system. And male animals are taken straight out to be slaughtered. Newsflash. Asteroid destroys Earth, women most affected. Cows are repeatedly impregnated so that they will lactate and produce milk for the dairy industry. Yes, and they get to live. Either way, are, are you really trying to start an animal feminist movement here? This is fucking bullshit. Their babies, which they carry for nine months, are stolen away from them just hours after they are born. Ah, oh, boo-hoo. By being so incredibly tasty, they've managed to become the most successful mammal on the planet next to us. If they are male, they will go straight to slaughter for the veal industry, and if they are female, they will be locked away in tiny crates where they're fed meal replacements while the industry profits off the sale of their mother's milk to other humans. As soon as they are old enough to reproduce, then they will be forcibly impregnated and the whole cycle starts over again. Interesting how you're just totally glossing over the plight of male animals. Because male animals, along with male humans, can go and fuck right off. Because fuck men. Due to extensive genetic mutilation... <laughs> Genetic mutilation? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, you fucking retard. First of all, it's called genetic manipulation, and secondly, that's not something we do to cows. I guess you're talking about selective breeding? You know what? You're really cute when you're retarded. As Lisa Kamara says, 
Women and non-human animals are exploited for their reproductive abilities, and both are devalued as they age and wear out, when they are no longer able to reproduce. Huh. I think women are more valuable when they can't reproduce, especially you. Feeling a little frisky. Looks like you're up. I'm ovulating. Let's go. The frisky, it went away. Female pigs are also immediately impregnated after birthing piglets. Makes sense. While hens are manipulated into constant cycles of ovulation so that the industry can steal and consume their reproductive eggs. Yeah, but they're fucking yummy. Since male chicks don't produce eggs, they are immediately discarded and killed in huge grinders. That's a male privilege for you right there. Way to go, animal patriarchy. As many vegans have pointed out, it's hard to ignore the patriarchal nature of how female animals are exploited for their reproductive capacities. But it's apparently very easy to ignore shoving the male animals into a literal meat grinder. Hypocrisy much? Oh wait, I forgot. Fuck men. As Afco says, Who? Read less, more TV. As feminists, to consume raped and tortured non-human animal bodies while fighting against rape culture seems a topic worthy of discussion. Oh my god, if you could only understand how stupid you're being right now. Listen, I'm not for animal abuse. I like animals as much as the next guy. But when you mix up animal abuse with rape culture and feminism, we can't do anything but eat more meat. Capiche? I'm saying that speciesism as a whole, or the hierarchy that positions non-human animals at the bottom of the pyramid and dictates how they are exploited is largely rooted in white supremacist patriarchy. You had to say it, didn't you, you fucking retard? Oh, and by the way, you forgot the word capitalist. It's supposed to be white supremacist capitalist patriarchy, right? But then again, who gives a shit what you call your fictional shit? The second major point that I want to make is that tactics for justice must include all oppressed groups to bring about deep-seated change. <laughs> so you want to bring cows into feminism? The abuse of women overlaps with the abuse of animals. The same patriarchal system that feminists oppose relies on the subjugation of other animals to assert male dominance. You think people keep animals for male dominance? <laughs> Oh my god, they just want to eat a fucking burger. Normally I say live long and prosper, but I have a new saying now, eat shit and die. This is why activities that involve animal cruelty such as barbecuing, meat eating, and hunting are seen as traditionally manly activities. And we all know we can't let men have anything of their own. Let me ask you this, if a man talks in the middle of a forest and there's no woman around, is he still wrong? Small parentheses, but why do you think there exists an entire industry dedicated to reassuring men that they can still look, eat, and fuck like a real man once they go veg? I mean, male fragility is so real. Right, that must be why I get about 4 million results when I search for how to look young and pretty with veganism. This is what happens when you mix cancer into all the things. Go, get to work. Cultural symbols of patriarchy, like playboy bunnies, also show how women are animalized and animals are sexualized. I'm sorry, you seem to think you've dialed 1-800-GIVE-A-SHIT. Would you like me to transfer your call using my middle finger? If not, please stay on the line until we laugh and disconnect you, then sell your number to an auto-dialer. Examples of this in mainstream culture are countless. From ads to sell orangina to sexy animal costumes women wear on Halloween. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What happened? Mm, I'll be in my bunk. Once you start to notice how patriarchy animalizes and sexualizes all groups that are not white men to justify their inferior status, it becomes impossible to see speciesism, feminism, racism, and other forms of oppression as having nothing to do with one another. Okay, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If I hired an eight-year-old to organize a sex party at Charlie Sheen's house, they would still come up with something better than that. The American Humane Association found that 68% of battered women reported that their their partner also performed violence against their animals. Yeah, people who beat their wives are psychos. What's your point? They also found that in 88% of homes where child abuse was occurring, animal abuse was as well. Wow, a psycho that likes beating his kids likes beating his dog. 
Who'd have thought? According to these facts, it makes sense that FBI profilers use animal abuse as one of their four indicators to assess future violent behaviors of suspects. Yeah, but they're not talking about hunting or animal husbandry, you dumb fuck. They're talking about fucking psychos who torture animals simply to inflict pain. I'm pretty sure we all agree that's a pretty good indicator that you're on your way to becoming Ted Bundy. The connection that exists between violence against women and children and violence against other animals is a clear indicator of how patriarchy systematically harms those that it objectifies. Oh, oh, oh wait, you, you thought you said something smart there, didn't you? <laughs> It's just fucking unbelievable how you can confound farming with someone beating up their dog. Campaigns like PETA capitalize on the existing oppression of women and use their bodies to make a profit all in the names of the animals. Okay, so your biggest organization is bullshit. Gotcha. Oh, and here's a lovely campaign they made about a woman having the bottoms knocked out of her. After her boyfriend went vegan, veganism should be challenging rape culture, not contributing to it. Listen, you fucking retard. How is it fucking rape culture to want to last longer in bed? That's something men do for women. But if that's the way you want it, I guess I'll just come as soon as I feel like it. Fuck you and your orgasm. Happy now? I've seen many disgustingly sexist vegans who have not devoted one second to learning about the oppression of women who suddenly become these really outspoken feminists when they talk about the reasons why they're vegan. So feminists and vegans are hypocrites. What else is new? Male vegans also sometimes use veganism to silence the very real concerns that women still face today. Come on, that's not what veganism is about. Yeah, 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 we get it. You hate men. All right, all right, already. Who the man? I demand. I always suspected. Going vegan does not mean that you suddenly stop participating to other forms of oppression. Being vegan does not make you a feminist, it does not make you anti-racist, anti-ableist, anti-capitalist, or even anti-speciesist. Hey moron! Fucking moron! Can you fucking believe this shit? This fucking moron just lopped in capitalism in there like it's a bad thing. Like it's somehow on par with racism. What the fuck is going on? Capitalism is what allows you to live your life with your iPhone and your laptop and your fucking house and YouTube, fucking Twitter and Facebook. Why don't you head over to North Korea and find out how the alternative works? As Michelle Lloyd Page explains in the Sista Vegan Anthology, all social inequalities are linked. Comprehensive systematic change will happen only if we are aware of these connections and work to bring an end to all inequalities, not just our favorites or the ones that most directly affect our part of the universe. No one is on the sidelines. By our actions or inactions, by our caring or our indifference, we are either part of the problem or part of the solution. Right, so every human being must fight every problem. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out real well. Yeah, and, and good luck with your you're either with us or you're with the terrorist thing. If you're taking pages out of the George W. Bush playbook, you might be a moron. So is veganism a feminist issue? Yes. And feminism is a vegan issue. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Now we know we can ignore both of those movements. Thanks a lot. And that concludes our show for tonight. But don't forget to check out the t-shirts. I'll see you next time. Sorry, but I'm about to lose you because I'm about to drive into a tunnel in a canyon on an airplane while hanging up the phone. <laughs>